Hello, this is Mark again. I'm one of the organizers of the MyDog 2021 Mitosis Domain Generalization Challenge, um, which is part of Mikai. And in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to test and submit your algorithm to the platform grandchallenge.org, which you will need in order to participate in the challenge. Let's get into it. So let me just quickly run you through the steps. First of all, um, it is important that you run tests on your own machine, then you can make sure that the algorithm, the algorithm really does what it's supposed to do and uh, that you're happy with the results. And then you can um, next up create a account, if you don't, didn't already do that, on Grand Challenge to uh, then as a subsequent step join the challenge. Third. Um, it might be fun to interact with others in a team. Um, so please go ahead if you want to and create or join a team, one of the teams that is already available. Um, fourth, um, it's the next step is that you create your algorithm on Grand Challenge. So that makes um, a new entry for your algorithm in the Grand Challenge algorithm database. And that's um, a requirement in order to be able to then submit this um, algorithm. Before that, I recommend that you also test it using one of the example images that we provide. So before I go into that, let me briefly point you towards our GitHub repository. It's called Deep Pathology. Uh, you don't only find there our MyDoc reference Docker container, but also a bunch of data sets and software that you can use in the uh, pathology context. Um, one of the things that you can find there actually is our reference Docker container and I um, hope that you were able to clone it and try it out. So um, this, um, there's another video for that and um, please have a look at this video. Um, and also there's a quite detailed description here in the readme.md file of our GitHub repository. And we will also update this once we find out that you run into trouble with something and then there's clarification needed. So I'm assuming now that this all worked out fine for you and uh, that you can run the tests. To run the tests, let's briefly have a look into the test folder. In the test folder, there is one image. It's actually a cropped part of an image of the training set. Um, but and that's a small difference to the training set. It also includes the uh, DPI information. So the microns per pixel or uh, death, uh, dots per inch information. Um, so the resolution of the image. We included this into the test set. Um, we didn't include it into the training set because back then we didn't know that this was a requirement on Grand Challenge. So on this example image, however, it's there and it's also, as I said, a small image so that the testing doesn't take forever. On the other hand, you can see that there is an expected output.json file and this expected output.json file um, is exactly the predictions that are expected for this algorithm, for this Docker container. Um, so it helps us to run the tests. Okay, so let's run the tests now. And if we do so, it takes a little while because of course it needs to build a Docker container. The Docker container will be easily a gigabyte or more. And now it has already passed. It compared what it found against this expected output.json file. And in this case, it detected two centroids for mitotic figures. One is this one here, um, X coordinate, Y coordinate, and another one is this one here also with the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. You might wonder why these are uh, decimal numbers because coordinates are typically in pixels. Um, but as I said, also due to the integration with Grand Challenge and their viewers, um, um, these are given in the unit of millimeters. So that means that you need to um, use a function, which is also part of the example container in order to convert it into millimeters in order to then have a fine detection results. So that's that. Um, and then let's assume that as uh, given here, the test worked out fine. Next step is that you export the Docker container. Export runs Docker safe, I think. <laughs> and um, in this case, um, it will uh, build a big tar.gz archive on your machine. And um, in the next step, you can then upload this archive. So 
this will take a little while. So I hope that you got yourself a cup of coffee because it really takes a while to export the algorithm. But once it's done, it should look like this. And if you then look into the directory, you will see that you have this file mitosisdetection.tar.gz. And that's the file you will want to upload to Grand Challenge. Now let's go to Grand Challenge and do these steps. So first of all, um, this is the MyDoc 2021 Grand Challenge site. And the first thing you will want to do is you will want to join the challenge. Now, I already did that even with my secondary test account that I'm using at the moment. Um, so that's already done. Now, I know that some of you are um, working in teams and you would also showcase that you are a team, that it's your joint submission. And if you want to do that, this is the chance. Just use this menu and you can just create a team for MyDoc hitting this button. So here you just need to fill out your team name, uh, department, institution, website, where you come from. And then you can, um, um, all the members join the team. We are now in the preliminary test phase of our challenge. So that, that means that the Docker containers that you submit, they don't have access to the final test set, but of a smaller variant, which is using the same scanners, which we uh, name our preliminary test set. Now, as I said, the next thing is to create the algorithm on the website. In order to do that, um, we will go to the submit category, which I already did here. Um, and then let's have a look at um, what I need for a submission. And down here, you can find a link um, which algorithm to select. Now I have no algorithms here at the moment that I can select, so I need to create an algorithm first. And I can do that clicking on this little link down here. So once I did this, I'm greeted with this little dialog. And in here I can enter a name for my algorithm. So in this case, it will be the MyDoc reference test algorithm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, then uh, I can provide a description, a link to a publication, I don't know, there's a couple already uh, down here, um, but I will not do that for now. Um, then I need to provide a logo. A logo is also, um, let's see, I have, for example, the MyDoc logo somewhere here, um, which I can use for that purpose. Um, I think it needs to be squared, so um, please um, do that. Um, then I need to select a workstation. Um, and I need to provide, whoops, where is it here? Input and output definitions. So the input image will be a generic medical image and the output image will be a mitotic figure output format. Okay, so um, that being said, I think that's all I need to provide. Um, I made sure that the algorithm is not public yet because I want to make it, don't want to make it public, public for now. Um, and uh, then I hit the save button. And uh, once I did that, I have my algorithm created. So here I have now the MyDoc reference test algorithm and then I need to now provide a container for that algorithm. So I can do that and um, just uploading the container that I created. Um, for that, I need to choose the algorithm image, which will be the docker tar.gz file. I need requires GPU because it actually, of course, requires a GPU to be run. And then I upload the reference container, which is this one here. Okay, as you can see, this one is quite big. It takes a little while to be uploaded, even on the very fast internet connection that uh, FAU provides in this case. Um, so let's wait a little while and hit the forward button, because of course I don't want to have you waiting for this long. All right, time for a break, right? So um, while you grab yourself a cup of coffee, um, I might use the chance to do some little advertisement. And this is of course not a message from my sponsor because 
actually I don't care um, and also this is not a oh and please subscribe to our channel because uh, we need that in order to you know um, uh, make some money no actually you can of course subscribe to our channel and join the I don't know 10 other people that did that <laughs> up to now um, but one thing I want to point your attention to what that that's really would be important for me is please have a look at our github repository um, we're actually um, providing quite some nice annotation software viewer software for um, microscopy images and also other images um, be it web-based or not web-based um, so please have a look at that there's also quite a couple of data sets that we published at all of course open data open source so please feel free to use it so for once there is a um, a relabeling so we have did um, another attempt of labeling the two-pack challenge data set with an in our words or in our mind enhanced labeling methodology um, with also improved results and um, then also we have some um, veterinary pathology data sets which are whole slide image data sets which might be also interesting for you so please have a look at that if you want to so meanwhile the upload has finished and we can see that because we are greeted now with this message um, which is telling us okay you now have this container image as you can see here, there's a little red flag indicating ready, false. So this should not worry you. It takes some while until Grand Challenge has checked the image and has enabled it for your algorithm. So just wait for a couple of minutes until this becomes available and it will be then not flagged anymore as ready, false and the status will also be active, I think. You can also see that in the overview, let's go back here to our reference algorithm and in the containers view, uh, you can see that there is one container image that was uploaded by um, me a minute ago and it's yet inactive. So just wait a little while and then this image will become active. Once your container is fully set up by Grand Challenge, it will look like this. So in my case, it took around about 15 minutes and now we can see that the container image is active. We can also here click on the information and we will find now that this one here is ready and we can also see here the checksum for it and that it will require the use of a GPU. So quite cool. Now we can go ahead and test our image. We can do that using the try out algorithm button. For this we will need to upload a generic medical image so that's a mitosis test image and I will use just the image that I provided here as part of the reference container. This image here called 007.tiff is rather small and uh, easy to upload so it doesn't take long and um, once this is done I will hit the submit button. So this will take another couple of minutes. I uh, will first create the inputs import the images and then it will fire up the container and uh, we'll see how the algorithm um, is processing the container. Also this took a little while um, but once it's done it looks like this. So we can see here now running algorithm was executed fine. We can also have a look now at the results in order to just see what we did. Um, and if I look into that, then I get this nice algorithm result page. And here it can, I can see that the execution of the Docker container actually took eight seconds. Of course, the copying of the container takes a little longer. Um, and then I can see also, or have a look at the outputs, which are here given as the JSON format. And I can also have a look at the inputs, of course. And I should also be able here <laughs> to see and open the results in a viewer, which is nice. And uh, this is actually why we have the requirement for the uh, resolution information. So if I click here, then as I, again, it takes a little while, but then um, magic happens. And um, I can congratulate here the guys at Grand Challenge for doing an excellent job um, in, this, um, in their platform because then after a short while you can actually see the detection results here up there is one um, and down here is a another one so um, I'm, I'm actually not quite sure at this resolution but to me it looks plausible right 
once this is done, and I will just go back here now to the um, create. Uh, now, where are we? Let's go to um, here, our algorithm page. Uh, so we tried it out now. We have some results and now we can go back to the challenge. I will go back to the challenge now. Um, so I go to the challenge here and now I can submit my algorithm. Now I can comment and say, okay, I have one more submission today. So I can comment and say, uh, initial test revision for the documentation video. Um, in this field, I would uh, like you to enter the link to your preprint. So you might wonder why is it necessary that I deliver a description of my algorithm right now? Well, um, this is only for the final submission. So we have the requirement that you describe what you did because I mean, at the very end, it's not only about being the best, but we want to also generate insights from how you did it. So this is why we have the requirement to put up on archive, bio archive, wherever, choose whatever preprint server you would like, um, where you describe what you did and how you derived such fine results. So this is where what you would want to put here. And then I can now select the MyDoc reference test algorithm here. If I do that, and I hit the save button, then um, the submission is successful and the results will appear um, on the leaderboard when it's ready. So that was my short little video about how to submit your container using Docker to the Grand Challenge platform. I hope uh, you understood everything well and I hope you will participate and see you next